The IPOP leader who is currently facing trial before the Federal High Court in Abuja had through his team of lawyers led by Michael Zekome, senior advocate of Nigeria, approached the appellate court to challenge the legal competence of the charge pending against him. He specifically prayed the appellate court to review the April 8 ruling of the trial court which struck out only 8 out of the 15 count charge. He insisted that the charge entered against him has no basis in law and appeared for it to be discharged and acquainted. Mr. Kenu equally urged the appellate court to order his release and bail pending the determination of his appeal. Though the appeal was initially fixed for 11th October, following an application he filed for abridgment of time, the appellate court brought the matter forward for hearing. When the matter was called up, a 30-man panel led by Justice Jumai Hanatsu said it had no need to delve into the issue of bail since the substantive appeal was ripe for hearing. Arguing the appeal, Michael Zekome alleged that his client was forcefully abducted from Kenya and legally renditioned back to the country. He told the court that his client was first arraigned on December 23, 2015 and was later granted bail on April 25, 2017. Meanwhile, the federal government, through its lawyer David Kwesa, urged the court to dismiss the appeal for want of merit. He maintained that IAPOP leader was brought back to the country by due process of the law. He argued that the charge has been amended seven times owing to the conduct of the appellant. Justice Hanato told parties that when judgment is ready, it did to be communicated to parties. Has no case against him at all. He is being kept in detention by the same DSS who investigated him, the same DSS who arrested him, the same DSS is detaining him. Workers of the Police Service Commission have been making headlines over the past weeks as a result of disagreements with management. Top on their agitation is alleged usurpation of the mandates of the commission by the Nigeria Police Force. This has become a subject of litigation since 2019 up to the Court of Appeal and the workers are alleging contempt of court. They identified recruitment, promotion and discipline as the three core mandates of the commission stipulated in the Act establishing it. Other issues in contention include non-implementation, of the conditions of service. Okay. Time since 2019, they have been interfering in this issue, where police service commission had gone to court, high court, and then um, appeal court rather. We won our case in appeal court, and um, ever since then they still do not want to step side aside on this mandate. Our mandate will be given to the Nigeria Police Force, and that is not the way the constitution of the Nigeria stipulated it. The Constitution established the Police Service Commission as an oversized civilian function. They are at the National Assembly to seek the intervention of the Parliament in resolving the impasse, after which they are resolved to head to the courts once again. The last has not been heard regarding the child sexual abuse allegations leveled against popular medical doctor and cancer care specialist Fabio Lale. He is accused of defiling a 15-year-old minor. A mental health specialist who is also a family friend conversant with the case says the delay observed in investigating the matter since it was reported in March 2022 has compounded the trauma faced by the affected family members, which she wants addressed urgently. I have assessed her to prove that, okay, she has symptoms of trauma. There's something we call post-traumatic stress disorder. She's going through that as I speak. That's what she's being treated for. And you can't have that if you have not gone through any trauma. And from assessment, the only traumatic event that has happened to this girl is this sexual um, abuse. I mean, um, she said for almost two years, one year, nine months to be precise. I mean, in the house, I have um, minors who are traumatized based on this. And I have, of course, his wife who is traumatized. That's the angle I'm coming from. So the law should take its course and, you know, so that those I'm working with, we have some closure. We say shame the abuser and protect the survivors. So the issue of family does not count. They are, they, even the survivors, a decision is, yeah, what's it called? It's, uh, it's really relevant to the government right now. 
TVC News made more efforts to contact Dr. Olaleye to respond to the allegations, but his line isn't connecting. Advocates have also intensified their agitation for justice by dropping protest letters at the Nigeria Medical Association, as well as the state government house and the police command.